Good morning. I wanted to hop on really quick before we start today's What I Eat in a Day and share with you some really devastating news. If you miss my posts on my Instagram and over in my Facebook group, I even did a post here on the community tab if you want to read a little bit more in detail. But unfortunately, on Saturday, the 25th of March, Diesel, my beautiful, wonderful lab, crossed the Rainbow Bridge. He has been having some health issues. Sorry. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. This is the first day I've put on makeup in like two days and I told myself I'm not gonna cry. He was having some mobility issues and it got to the point where he wasn't able to stand up on his own and we had to make the hard decision to have him cross the Rainbow Bridge and get his wings to watch over us. So we made that decision this last Saturday and it was the hardest decision that we've ever had to make. I sat with him the whole time. And since that day, it's been really hard to get back to normal life and I miss him around the house. I, I think I hear him. I miss him waking up in the morning and having him come to my office door and patiently wait to come in here with me, spend time here on his dog bed in the background of all my videos. It's definitely been a big adjustment. And I feel like today I'm just, barely getting back to normal life. I'm still beyond devastated and I miss him. But I wanted to share that with you first thing in the video because I really want to make this a happy video and I want to focus on all the good food that I'm eating and make a healthy recipe for dinner tonight and really, really try my hardest to get back to normal life. It's been a big whirlwind for us in the midst of losing diesel. We're having our house painted, so there's been people here for days now, and it's just been devastating. It's just been a lot. You also know that Lola is going through chemo for cancer, and just the last month, month and a half, has been really, really hard for us and very chaotic. I mean, I'm grateful that our house is being painted. I, I wanna take you guys outside and, and show you kind of the progress, but it's just been, the timing has been off, you know, with losing diesel, not really suddenly, but kind of suddenly. So anyways, um, I do have a memorial where you can light a candle for diesel if you want to. And before we transition into a happier part of this video, thank you to every single person who's reached out to me, whether it's been a DM on Instagram, a Facebook message, lighting a candle for diesel. As of today, there's over 400 candles lit for my boy, which means that he's as loved by you guys as he is by us. And that brings me so much joy and peace. So thank you. Thank you to everybody who's reached out. Thank you for your patience with my content as we try to go back to a normal life. So thank you again to all of your, to everybody who has sent their love and support to us. It really truly means the world. And I know that Diesel is as loved by you guys as he is by us. So thank you again for everything. So let's go ahead, uh, start our day. I did have a protein coffee this morning. I just finished it actually. And then I'm gonna go in the kitchen here and make myself some breakfast for the day. So for breakfast this morning, I'm actually going to have a couple of the egg bites that I made in Monday's meal prep. If you miss Monday's meal prep, I'll link it down below for you. These are a spinach, spinach mushroom egg bite. And then I have one left of the Thomas English muffins with protein. These are really good. They say that they're cinnamon flavored, but it's a very mild cinnamon. I would say it's more just like a regular English muffin, but I'm going to toast that up. And then I have some Kerrygold butter. I do one teaspoon on my English muffin. And then I have some raspberries that I'm going to have for a fruit. So here is my breakfast. I have it on my Uba home plate as usual. I share this all the time. I share Uba home on my channel all the time. They have pre-portioned plates, bowls, storage containers, small silverware. They're an amazing small business. I love their plates. I have several. I love that they are designed for portion control. Keeps all your food separate. Like I said, I use them all the time. I'll link them down below with a discount. So I have my English muffin, raspberries, and a couple of egg bites. So I just finished my breakfast and it got me thinking about my lumen because I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys, lots of comments here on my channel asking if I still use my lumen. Yes, I use it every single day, multiple times a day. This is a metabolism tracker. So it's going to tell you what your body is doing with the foods that you eat. Are you in fat burn mode? Are you in carb burning mode? It really depends. Your food makes a big difference on what your body burns for energies. Now, pre-workout, post-workout, 
eating a lot of carbs is great because you deplete those carbs during your workout and you can rebuild them by refueling with carbs after. And Lumen is that metabolism hacker that basically tells you how foods affect your body so that you can build a healthy plate, focusing on whole real foods and timing of your meals and the foods that you're choosing on what's best for your metabolism. There's a lot of different things that go into how your body responds to the foods that you're eating and how you build your meals. I'll go ahead and pop an image up here that talks about the physiologically behind meal timing and why it's important to make sure that you're eating regularly and how your meals are timed. And then, of course, what types of macros and micronutrients you're introducing into your meals. Carbs, carbs and protein, protein and fats, fats, protein. I'm going to also pop an image up here as well of that so you can kind of see different ways, different types of these macros, different types of carbs. Carbs paired together with protein, proteins with fats, fats on their own. That way you kind of know how to build a healthy plate and how to build healthy meals. When I meal plan for my meal prep for the week or even for our dinners, I'm always thinking about putting all the macros together, having a protein, a fat, and a carb, and knowing and being able to consume those meals, test it with the lumen, and see what the results are in my body has really been life-changing for me. This little gadget right here has become a staple in my weight loss journey. Like I said, I still use this multiple times a day. I love to test first thing in the morning, after all of my meals, and before I go to bed. That way I can see what's happening with my body while I sleep. Am I burning carbs? Am I burning fat? The goal is fat. So by making sure that if I am having a snack before bed, it's protein packed that helps me wake up in a fat burning stage. If I eat a snack before bed that's carbohydrates, then I typically wake up in a carbohydrate burning state. So really this thing just gives you a lot of information on your metabolism and what foods do your body good and also greatly helps with weight loss. March is nutrition month, so it's a perfect time to talk about the Lumen again, and I will link it down below with you, for you with a generous discount code. So if you're interested in tracking your metabolism, helping with weight loss, definitely recommend the Lumen. Say we're having a treat after breakfast in honor of our brother. Yeah, this is for Diesel. I was just sitting down to place an order at Ulta because they're having their 21 days of beauty. So I've been keeping my eye on the Ulta website every day to see what the beauty steals are. And it reminded me about my Go Cash Back. This is something that I signed up for quite a while ago. And it's an extension that you can actually put on Google Chrome. And when you shop through Go Cash Back, you get money back from your favorite stores, Ulta Beauty being one of those. There is a KVD liner that I want to order today that's half off. And with the Go Cash Back app, or online, you get an extra 3.2% cash back. So for me, instead of going to the Ulta website directly, I go to the Go Cash Back website, search Ulta Beauty, and go to Ulta Beauty from the Go Cash Back website. And like I said, I'm going to get 3.2% back in addition to Ulta points and everything else that Ulta gives you. All, it's very simple to use Go Cash Back. All of your shopping is done through their app or through their online extension rather than going to the website directly. There's even stores like Kate Spade and Sephora, Nike. There are so many amazing stores that have partnered with Go Cash Back. When you sign up, you actually get a special registration bonus of $8. You can withdraw your cash back through PayPal, a gift card with a discount, a check, or HelloPay. You can also download the Go Cash Back Google Chrome extension so you never miss earning cash back. You choose how you get your money back and it's so simple. You get money back from shopping your favorite stores through Go Cash Back. I actually shared this on my channel several months ago and I've been using it religiously ever since. And really you get money back just for doing your regular shopping. You really truly can't beat it. There is an app that you can download to your phone as well. So if you're someone that does a lot of online shopping through your phone, download the Go Cash Back app so you can start earning money back now. There's more ways to get your money back from Go Cash Back rather than other apps that offer the same type of service. You get higher cash back from popular merchants and Go Cash Back actually does monthly giveaways for its users, which is really fun. You can enter into these monthly giveaways for the opportunity to earn more cash back. They are even offering offline cash back for new users who download the Go Cash Back app. I always just went through my laptop on the Go Cash Back website, so I actually just downloaded the app myself. And you actually get 100% cash back for retailers like Starbucks, Whole Foods, and more. These are all 
retailers I frequent regularly. So for me, it made a lot of sense to go ahead and download the Go Cashback app as well as use the browser extension. And you get cash back in conjunction with any other discounts the merchant's offering. So with Ulta Beauty, right now is their 21 Days of Beauty. My KVD pencils are 50% off and I also get the Go Cashback 3.2% in addition to that. It just makes sense to earn cash back while shopping at your favorite retailers and Go Cash Back makes it so simple. Whether it's done on a computer, a laptop, a tablet, or you download the Go Cash Back app on your phone for easy shopping. I will link Go Cash app, Go Cash Back down below for you with that special $8 sign-on bonus. And don't forget to download the app for 100% back on stores like Starbucks and Whole Foods. And I've already earned quite a bit of money back just from shopping at my favorite stores. Okay, so here's the half. House. So they have been here a couple days now painting. We did have to pick our color scheme from what the HOA allowed. So we went with this lighter tan for the base of our house. And then these little kind of bump out things under our windows, those will be a little bit darker brown. And then the garage doors will be painted even a darker brown. And then right now our front door is green and it will be painted kind of a blue color, which will be really pretty with the lighter tan. And here's the back. So this is all painted other than the bump out things. They kind of do everything in shifts. Lots of taping off of the house. And then our fence is going to be painted the same color as the house. Yeah, get him. So we came outside with mom and now we're playing. Yeah, get him Lola. <gasps> get him Lola. <gasps> you get Palmer? Did you get him? Get him baby. Oh, Palmer. So we are going to run a couple errands this morning. I have a coaching call here in about an hour and a half. The painters just showed up to our house to start painting. So Troy's going to stay there with them. We just like to make sure everything's going well and that things aren't missed because you know how contractors, painters, those types of people are. They miss small details. So Troy wants to make sure that he's there so that they don't miss those small details. And what I'm doing is I'm going to grab a coffee at Dunkin' or at uh, Dutch Brothers. And then I'm going to go to Ross or TJ Maxx. Both are right next to Dutch Brothers. We actually need to get a new dog bed. In the last couple weeks of Diesel's life, he had a lot of open wounds and a lot of drainage from all of the swelling in his legs. And so the dog bed we use for his passing that he laid on for those couple weeks and for his passing is we washed it twice and it still just had kind of a rancid smell to it. I think it just got into the actual padding of the dog bed. It was one of those Costco dog beds that you could remove the cover. So we decided to go ahead and throw the dog bed away. By the way, that was really hard for me. I wanted to keep his dog bed, um, but we decided to go ahead and throw that away. So I am going to run and see if I can find another dog bed. We actually need one in my office and we need one in our bedroom. Lola likes to lay on the one in the bedroom in the morning and eat her bone. So that's my mission is a new dog bed, which in a way is good. It's kind of a fresh start. All of the little things that remind me of him that break my heart daily, I guess maybe having his dog bed there, especially the one that we used with the hospice care, not having that in our house is probably ultimately a good thing. So I am gonna make a couple of quick errands. Troy would like me to pick him up a pop on my way home. So yeah, that's the plan uh, for this morning. So I'm at Dutch Brothers and crying because I, she was asking, you know, what I was doing today and I brought up that I have lost diesel and just the waterworks. So she's very sweet. The girl here at Dutch Brothers uh, didn't charge me for my coffee and she, she understands how hard this whole thing has been. So I'm just trying to be 100% transparent and real. This is really hard. I've lost a pet, you know, that just talking about them or bringing it up is just like a trigger. So. Anyway, breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coffee and Ross is literally in this parking lot. So I'm gonna head there. Let's see what we can find for the dogs. So I'm in the dog bed aisle and we have a lot to choose from. I definitely don't need as big of a dog bed as I had before. I mean, obviously Lola and Palmer are quite a bit smaller. So I'm gonna get this gray one. It's really, really soft for my office. And that way I can put the one that's in my office back in our bedroom. I'm going to see about getting Palmer some toys while I'm here and then we'll check out the treats. 
So I found some toys. I got actually three for him that we can't buy any toys that have stuffing. He'll actually probably pluck these anyways, but they just have squeakers in them, so he'll love them. There's literally hardly any treats here. Man, usually they have way more than this. So I actually got quite a few. I found one on clearance. We got some beef squares, duck tenders, Kong jerky, and chicken fillets. So I came over to the food section to look for ginger chews, and they don't have any, but can we just talk about how cute this gummy sushi is? It's $3.29. That is so cute. I'm not getting it, but it's adorable. I'd say, I'd say somebody likes the new dog bed. Come on. You like the new dog bed? Oh, yes. Lola's right here. She likes to lay under my desk when I'm working. So I'm going to make a snack plate for lunch today. It is a little after 12. I am super, super hungry. I did not have a morning snack other than my coffee. So what I'm going to do is the tuna pouch. This is the sweet and spicy. I told you guys that I was gonna try this out. It's super good. It's not spicy really at all because you know I don't really like my spice. 90 calories, 16 grams of protein. And then I love these crackers from Trader Joe's. A serving is 12 crackers. I usually do about eight crackers. So I'm going to do that with the tuna and then I'm going to have a half of a cup of cottage cheese with some blueberries and then for a little fun sweet treat I'm going to have a serving of these triple ginger cookies. They're 110 calories for nine of them and they're really really delicious. Actually a couple of you commented on a video and said this is really good as a topping on protein pudding so thank you. I'm definitely going to try that out. So let me put together my snack plate for lunch. So here is my lunch. This looks amazing. So I have my packet of tuna, my crackers, my ginger thin cookies, and some cottage cheese with blueberries. Again, on my Uba home plate, you already know. I'll make sure this is linked down below for you with 10% off. So my friend Arlene over on Instagram, who also has a YouTube channel, I will link her channel down below for you, did a absolutely beautiful memorial for Diesel, featuring some of my favorite pictures of him. Of course, it made me cry my eyes out, so I made sure that I pulled myself together to share it here with you. I loved it so much, and I'm so grateful for her for doing it. I'm going to keep it forever, and I know how much you guys love him. I know you love him as much as we do, so I wanted to share it with you. So I am going to go ahead and insert the little video here. And Arlene, thank you so much. You really made my entire day. It was so beautiful to watch, and thank you again for taking time to do this memorial to my boy. I'm going to have an afternoon snack. We're keeping it super simple. I have the hard boiled eggs from Costco. I love these pre-pilled, ready to go, so I'm gonna have those. And then I'm going to have two, or yes, two, which is a serving only 70 calories of these Navitas Power Snacks. This is the peanuts, strawberries, and dates. It actually tastes like peanut butter and jelly. They're really, really good. They're also pretty good size, so I'm going to have two of these, and that's going to be my snack. 
For tonight's dinner, I am making sweet and sticky teriyaki meatballs and rice. I'm going to cook my rice in my Dash rice cooker. I'll share that with you guys. I bought it off of Amazon. We love it. Easiest way to cook rice. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need honey, apple cider vinegar, one egg breadcrumbs, soy sauce, salt and pepper. As always, I'll link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. Rice of your choice. Paprika, green onions, ginger, and a pound of 96 or 93% ground beef. So this is my Dash rice cooker. Like I said, I absolutely love it. I am going to add one cup of rice, two cups of water, and turn it on, and literally the rice comes out perfect every single time. I, like I said, I bought it on Amazon. I'll link it for you. So to make the meatballs super simple, I added a pound of ground beef to a bowl, one quarter cup of breadcrumbs, one egg, I sliced up my green onions, ginger, and some salt and pepper. So for the meatballs, I always just dig in with my hand, mix everything together, and then we're going to roll these out. It says walnut size meatballs, and I'm gonna put them on a sheet pan lined with parchment, and then into my oven, which is 400 degrees. So for the sauce, we're making it ourselves. We're going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, about a teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of paprika, and then lastly, a quarter cup of soy sauce. Mix that all together, and then I'm going to pour it over the meatballs. They are in the oven, so the sauce will thicken up as it cooks with the meatballs. I just pulled out the meatballs. I'm going to let them cool for just a couple of minutes. We have about two minutes left on the rice and then I'll go ahead and plate everything up. So here is dinner. I have some of the teriyaki meatballs, about a half of a cup of rice. I put a little of the extra teriyaki sauce on there and the recipe actually makes six servings total. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have my second protein supplement. I have two protein supplements every day, which helps me get in my protein. So I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats. I'm obsessed with their protein powder. You guys already know, I love them so, so, so much. I ordered every single flavor. They are all amazing. Whether you mix it with water, protein shake, protein pudding, mix it with yogurt like we're gonna do tonight. So I'm going to do the Bananas Foster. This one is so good. It's bananas, it's caramel. I really love Clean Simple Eats. I love these packets because they're great to take with you. I definitely love to take these traveling. They're portable. It's one serving in a packet and it's a great way to try out all of their different protein powders. I'll link them down below with a discount. So I'm going to do Bananas Foster, one serving of non-fat Greek yogurt. What I do is just stir the protein powder into the Greek yogurt. I'll show you guys when I put it together. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of the Smucker's No Sugar Added Caramel to kind of bring the Banana Foster vibe. And then I'm going to dice up I'm going to slice up half of a banana and that's going to add a little bit of fruit, a little bit of caramel, really enhance that whole banana foster flavor. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. Thank you for coming along with me today. Thank you for spending the day with me and taking my mind off things. It actually was really good for me and therapeutic to film today. So thank you again for all of your sweet comments, your support, and again, I'll link the memorial down in the description box for Diesel if you wanna light a candle. And of course, everything I shared with you today will be in the description box. Tonight's dinner recipes on my website, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Don't forget to thumbs up today's video and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.